Chris Jaya, owner and founder of Bedard Yacht Design in Tarpon Springs, Florida. He's the designer of the awesome dinghy we'll decide to build, but we'll get to all that later. JF's been sailing since he was a boy and has owned various boats. Later studying naval architecture and living aboard a sailboat for five years before founding Bedard Yacht Design in 2015. His background includes working for several years as a touring musician and band leader for the world-renowned performance group Cirque du Soleil. Since Michael and I come from arts backgrounds too, we appreciated hearing about how JF's artistic experiences continue to serve him as a boat designer and architect, since both worlds involve collaboration, creativity, and fostering both function and beauty. Oh, and by the way, we also learned that JF is an architect and engineer for Island Packet. Yep, the same builder of our 35-foot sailboat coat. Well, all this, this butterfly effect, you, you have to be on top of all of that. It's, it's really fun. And then, of course, I have I do have artistic background. So that fits right into what I do at Island Packet. Mm -hmm. Design, and there's an artistic side of looking at it, but at the same time, there's 50 people mm -hmm. to, to realize they have a work to do and then if you make it all bubbly and pink and, and nice it might not work in real life but that's important and these guys are building boats so if, you, if you're not making it realistic for the guy that are building the boat mm -hmm. it's going to fail uh, it's either not going to happen or fail when it does happen so you have to be here and there at the same time along with designing fishing boats sailboats kayaks and dinghies Jeff Bedard has designed an eight-foot pram and found that cruisers loved it, but would often comment about how something a little larger and nesting would be awesome. So he designed the Ozona X nesting pram kit. Before we decided upon this particular pram as the dinghy for us, we researched a ton of options, including rigid inflatable boats, aka ribs, and even tried out a neighbor's foldable port boat Overall, we realized that we preferred a dinghy option that would allow us to row or sail, so we don't have to rely on an outboard all the time. We also wanted something that could be stowed between our mast and companionway in order to keep the foredecks and side decks clear. That led us to wonder if a nesting dinghy might be a good fit for us. We really admire Danny Green's Chameleon and the Passage Maker dinghy by Chesapeake Lightcraft. Both are well-proven designs for nesting dinghies. Sailboat Stories YouTube channel shares about the process of building the chameleon. It's a very cool dinghy, but we wanted to avoid the added expense of renting or buying power tools like a table saw or belt sander needed to make the build easier. The Passage Maker Dinghy by Chesapeake Lightcraft is another classic nesting cramp, but the overall length at 11 feet 7 inches meant a larger footprint because it's beamier. Choosing the right dinghy for us was tricky but eventually we came across J.F. Bedard's designs. Here's why we fell in love with the Ozona X nesting pram design. Everything's milled on the CNC machine, which means the main parts are precisely cut and that saves build time and equipment costs. It's a more affordable option than many ribs. At the time of this recording, the kit costs between $1,400 to $1,500. You can row, sail, or motor this dinghy. It's easy to store with a smaller footprint, since it stows nested to 62 by 50 by 21 inches and each half weighs less than 50 pounds. It's easier to build for amateurs. You can assemble it with tie wraps versus wire, although you can use wire if you want, and you can either use a stitch and glue or composite strip plank method. It has high volume and can carry up to 565 pounds. The pram has great stability and they are more stable than their pointy bowed counterparts which allows for more carrying capacity and wide beam forward. This particular kit doesn't require a lot of equipment, and it's made with marine grade plywood parts, which is more rot resistant than generic plywood. Thanks for watching. We hope you'll check out our future videos where we'll go into more detail about the build process of the dinghy.